Welcome back. You already know, man. It's your boy, Terry VO Tree, that hustle. Helping you build your financial muscle, man. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Share the channel with your people, man. Of course, man. I would appreciate everybody who's been subscribing to the channel, who liking the videos, who's supporting your boy. You already know, man. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Anyway, we're going to get straight right into it today, man. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about capitalism, right? Which is part of the reason why America has been so successful right like i said like last one not perfect successful and able to do what they're doing now with capitalism everybody always loved to promote the great things that happen in the capitalist society right and for those of you who don't know capitalist society basically means to put it in the most simplest term means um capitalist capitalist society means open market everybody's allowed to do how would i say Anyone can start a business. Any immigrant can come from anywhere and go from zero to a billionaire. Perfect example, Elon Musk, right? Elon Musk is from South Africa, but he was able to come to America, excuse me, start a couple businesses, invest in a couple other businesses, and now he's well over, what, worth two, three, four hundred billion dollars? That only happens in America, guys. There's not a lot of countries on the face of this earth that you can do what Elon Musk was able to do, right? Uh, there's a reason, even in a country like Saudi Arabia or the Emirates where, yeah, Saudi Arabia, where everybody is a multi, multi-billionaire, but 90% of them are a billionaire for one thing, oil. That's like the only business you can be successful at over there to really become a billionaire. But here, as long as you can sell, if you have a product, you can provide a service, or you can market yourself you could sell anything and become a millionaire, man. There's people out here selling water. Think of it when you go to your grocery store, there's a whole aisle dedicated to water. There's about 40 or 50 different companies that sell water. There's about 40 or 50 different companies that sell bread. That's all because of capitalism, right? Anybody's allowed to start any business and sell anything. And if they become successful, they become successful. Whatever. Now, capitalism because everything is open, everybody could start a business or whatever, you get a lot of the same products, right? You get, like we just said, 20 companies that sell water. So now it's a matter of which company sell markets the water to you best, right? Because it's not necessarily who has the best water now, it's about who can market the company, who can market their water to you best, who can stay in front of your face with their water best, right? A lot of people look, for example, let's take a Fiji. I'm not taking no shots at anybody. But Fiji water does not come from Fiji, right? But if you look at the bottle, you look at the presentation, you look at the marketer, you would think you drink your water right out of the creek of Fiji, but it's not, right? <laughs> That's just the truth. It's not coming from Fiji. If you did, don't start to bust a bubble. It doesn't come from Fiji, right? But it tastes good. It's a square bottle. It looks good. It looks clean. Marketing, right? Whoever's the CEO of Fiji, billionaire, because why? He was able to market the same thing that's duplicated across a bunch of other name brands, but he can sell his the best. That's how he became a billionaire, right? But anyway, now what happens with capitalism is somebody has to be the brunt of the person that's getting abused. And when I mean, I'm going to put in a different term, when 20, 40 people are selling you everything or selling you something different. The people that pay the most is the people who have the less money, right? The middle class, the middle class and lower. People who are not have, who don't have that much amount of money. So when they do get paid, they spend their money across all of these products because marketing works. People constantly ask you to buy this, buy that, sell this, sell that. You end up buying a bunch of stuff that you don't need, right? And now you left looking up at the rich people like, Damn, you're looking at all the business owners who made all the money off the stuff that you bought from them. And you're like, damn, and you envy the rich. That's what I think happens in a capitalist society. Most people who are not well off end up envying the people who are well off. You shouldn't, right? Because anybody could have started a business. You could have started a business also. It would have been just as successful as this person who started the business. Or, you know what I mean? You... you you, you can't be mad at you getting hustled. That's basically what happened. You got your money. You spent your money on all of these products because they marketed it to you. And now you're mad because you don't have no money left over to do what's really important, which is investing. Which is if you want to get out 
this rut of paycheck to paycheck, right? What you have to be able to do is be disciplined to not spend your money on stuff that doesn't matter. You have to be able to have your money, the little bit that you do, you have to find a way to make that money work for you. The only way that money works for you is if you start a business or if you invest in other businesses that are already successful, investing in the stock market. That's your only two options to really do something with the money that you have. That if you're making a little bit of money right now, you're not as rich as you want, you're not as successful as you want, there's only two things. You can either start a business or you can invest in businesses that are already successful. And the reason why I wanna tell everybody to start a business because everybody don't have money and time to spend on trying to start a business that may fail, right? Because seven out of 10 businesses fail. So I know I understand it's cute and everybody talk about start a business, be a, um, I mean, do the entrepreneur thing or whatever. But what if you have a family to feed? You can't risk losing $10,000 on starting a business to learn as you're going through, right? You, you just can't afford to do that because you don't have the time. You just can't afford to lose that money. So you have, you have other, uh, you have other obligations. So Starting a business is not always the best option for everybody. Now, you could invest in a business because I feel like you could, it takes way less money to start investing in successful businesses. And as you're investing in these successful businesses, you are studying these businesses. You're learning what works, what doesn't work. So you're collecting information. So eventually, when you are ready to start a business, when you're in a better position and you are ready to start a business, that means you have more information available, your chances of failing, you've reversed your chances of failing because all this time you've been collecting information while you was investing in successful businesses. I think that's the best route to go. But we can't be a full capitalist society because then if everybody, America has done a great job of hiding the fact that they promote capitalism. That's, that'd be word democracy, but we really promote a lot of capitalistic views because entrepreneurs business owners get big tax breaks we entice people to be business owners right so that way everybody can be a business owner everybody can start business big tax breaks you're helping the economy by starting a business because you're putting other people to work but like i'm saying what happens with that two things that can happen with that the people who are poor who are constantly being marketing to who are constantly being marketed to to spend their money on this and that when they look up they realize oh man i've spent all my money on all of these things I didn't need because it was being marketed to me. Now I have no money. I could only go do the never ending circle of paycheck to paycheck. Or what happens is, right? If everybody becomes a business owner, who are the consumers? If everybody becomes a business owner and everybody have their own business, who becomes the consumer? Who are you selling your products to, right? We, as, as bad as it sounds, we almost need the people who are less than to market to to buy stuff from the people who are who do have money, who do who do have a business. You know what I mean? But you can't envy them because you're the one spending the money. You can't you can't envy rich people, man. I do not envy rich people, man. And I feel like a lot of times society in our community, we look at rich people like that's something bad. Like we're mad that they're rich. Or like, dude, you could have did the same thing. Like, do not envy rich people, man. I think the best thing you can do when you find out somebody's rich, somebody close to you is rich, hey, ask some question. How did you become rich? What did you do? What are three or four things that you did every day that got you to the point where you are now? And see if you can copy that. That's the best thing to do. Do not envy rich people, man. Capitalism is good, but like I said, man, it's either going to make everybody become a business owner and we don't have no consumers or it makes people become envious of rich people. And that's when you get people talking about tax the rich, tax the rich. You, you, listen, less than, less than what? Less than 10% of the pop, less than 10% of the population in the US are billionaires. Even if you were to tax them crazy, that's not what's going to save the, that's not what's going to save the economy or change what's going on. Is the middle class of the people who already have less than we have to stop spending money on stupid crap that's what's really going to get you out not taxing the rich taxing the rich doesn't get you out stop spending your money on crap that you don't need being more disciplined with your money and start making your money work for you brings me back to the point where i said the other video if everybody had an investing account and they were investing back in the economy investing in successful businesses investing not buying 
right? Not consuming, but becoming an investor. That's more, that's more money flowing in, and that helps the economy much more than us just being a bunch of consumers, no investing, and we just mad at the end of the day when all of our money spent, not realizing like it was you that spent the money. Nobody forced you to buy nothing. Yes, marketing, they marketed it, they marketed it to you, but you the one that still bought it and used your money to buy it. Especially if you bought something you did not need. You bought something because you was in the moment, your feelings was into it, they got you. They got you, be real, they got you. But you can't blame anybody else for that, man. Be disciplined, capitalism is good. Or isn't it, you know what I mean? The choice is yours. I think it's good, but I just don't think we can have a whole capitalist society. I think it has to be a nice mix of a lot of capitalistic ways, but let's still follow these rules and regulation over here, right? Because we don't want the capitalistic society to get out of control. So that's my take on capitalism today, man. And don't be mad at the rich. Try to learn from the rich, man. Don't, don't be a hater. Don't hate the game, man. For real. Uh, don't hate the player. Hate the game. Learn the game so you can become rich too. Everybody, there's enough money going around for everybody to be well off. Not everybody needs to be a billionaire. But some of you are right now, let's be honest, if you had what? Five, seven million a year account right now, you'd be good. You'd be good. Not everybody needs to become a billionaire. Not everybody needs to become a billionaire, man. You just need to have enough money where you're not stressed about your monthly bills. You're not stressed about things to take care of your family and you're good. You're in a good space. You can buy whatever you want, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna just buy everything that comes to mind. Just a little lesson about capitalism, man. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Share this channel with your people, man. Catch me on the next one. Truly in that hustle, helping you build your financial muscle. I'm gone.